everybody. I'm here with Oscar the dog. We are about to show you a favorite book that I use in my classroom called Dog Loves Drawing. Oscar does not want to draw. <laughs> He's ready to go. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> okay, so this book, Dog Loves Drawing, is by Louise Yates. I happened upon this book at a um, sale table and it's been a favorite in the studio ever since. So it's about a dog who uh, receives a sketchbook from his aunt and she says, may the lines you draw open the door to some wonderful adventures and then you go on the adventure with him. So he creates other characters and draws them and then they turn into real life characters. I'm not going to go into the entire story but you'll get a sense that he's drawing, the characters are drawing, drawing is a main part of the story. It ends with him back in the bookshop where he apparently works. I don't know, I guess this dog works in a bookshop. And at the end of the sketchbook, he then sends a thank you note to his aunt. It's a really fun adventure. It's super cute. The drawings are really simple. I think it's very inspiring for kids who are younger. So usually I'm reading storybooks to kids if they're in the studio and they're younger than eight. Um, but I can tell you that my eight and nine year old students, they actually really like to read stories too, even though they have more ability to focus for longer and they don't usually get the same break. Anyways, I think it's great to have stories in the classroom so that when you're also working on art, you're also seeing artists work, you're seeing what people can draw. It's a great break so that you get a good attention span. Hopefully your students have a little bit more of an attention span than Oscar does. Um, and so I hope this uh, suggestion of a book helps you out. There'll be a link to purchase it below. Thanks so much for watching. Oscar wants me to go now. Bye. <laughs> this is a um, classic uh, case of the assistant who's not too helpful.